What's up guys? This is Paris from Clubkind. Today I'm going to show you how to make the chaser in Mad Mapper work. First of all, if you don't know what the chaser is, it's this effect that you kind of, you know, can chase around your slices. And this is normally done with Resolume. There is a plugin. But we are going to recreate this in Mad Mapper and it's a bit, you know, not the right way to do it but it works so as you can see we have here our chaser group here's our slices and you can see they're like getting triggered one after the other um, and you can do this by doing a group for your chaser effect and then making a queue scheduler here and press automate bpm and then you can say how long this should take to change so when you like put seven seconds it, you know this is just like the speed and also what's cool here is is when you put it on bpm not on seconds um you can go here on your settings tab and increase or decrease the bpm so this is really fast and then you know you could go like really slow so you could map this on a controller or something so um, I'm going back here so when you deactivate the queue scheduler you see it there's no movement anymore um, and it stops where like the last uh, where it is at a moment so um, yeah, I'm, um, I'm going here um, to show you also the slices I, I made. Um, this is like two, three, four, five, six, eight. And now you can see like this is the whole image. Um, and it's just like making one slice after another. Um, so if you wanted to do like multiple chasers, you could, you know, go here on your uh, scenes and cues and make like a new group. Uh, I'm going to show you that, so you know. Uh, we call this now Chaser 2. Um, and then uh, we could do like uh, copy that slices first. And put them in Chaser 2. Um, and now we just want like a different, different type of um, and like animation. I, could, I want them to move, for example, um, like from the out, from the, the outside to the inside. Um, so we're going to press on Chaser Two, and activate the layers we want to view on our first queue, and then we just put it like on ten. Then we go like one step further, and put the group on eleven. and 12 and 13 so um and now what we want to do is go to queue scheduler make a new one and now you can um like take a look at the banks we want bank one start at column 8 to 12 and press automate, BPM, then we put a one. Um, go back here, deactivate the first one. Oh yeah, we made a mistake at our queue scheduler. It's not eight, it's 10 to 13. Um, now we go back, deactivate this one first. Yeah. And now we have a chaser that has a different animation. And then, then you could like map the visibility of the chaser and the queue of the queue scheduler. Um, so when you activate it, um, you can deactivate both. So you don't you need to you don't need to go back and forth in these tabs. And get confused so yeah that's uh, the queue scheduler if you have 
any questions uh, let me know this is the way I make my chaser map mapper and keep in mind that this like depends on your machine but it's it needs quite a lot of power and so I deactivate it like when it's in use uh, with this one so it's just like um, just like this screen and the other stuff I see on my um, on the output yeah so that's it and yeah hope you have you get an idea of what's going on and uh, have fun <laughs>